All right, guys, what, we like, what we're going to do today is we're going to look at something I think is really cool. I'm kind of a nerd. I love to research things. I love to take a look at Google, Google Earth. Those areas are pointing to a high ridge that runs across an oxbow lake. If you don't know what an oxbow lake is, it's little low-lying areas around rivers that when it floods, the water will push into these low-lying areas, and they will make lakes. Now, I'm going to point out one thing here. This is a big old piece of fallen timber. I think it's really cool. I love to point out stuff that's on there. But oxbow lakes, before flood control tr structures were put in, these lakes would dry up in the summertime because there was nothing really holding the water in. But they would dry up and they would leave the ridges. And back in the old days, when you had a wagon, you tried to stay to the ridges because you didn't want to get stuck. But what we're going to point out is, first of all, coming up right now, and I'm going to stop and I'm take three areas and point to it. But you see the darker shading. That darker shading is a lower line area, a uh, softer bottom, most likely a creek. Now, on this other side of this creek, you see it's very bright. Now, coming into the picture here, and I'm going to point it out with some arrows. You can see the resemblance of an old wagon trail. I mean, it's perfectly square. It's coming in the screen right now. Uh, on the left-hand side, you can literally see it's got two. It's got a log laying across it, but it's perfectly square. Just goes right across the screen. Notice it's at the highest point on the on the uh, fish finder. That's because they try to stay out of the bottoms, and it keeps your old wagon from getting stuck. Now. I just think it's amazing that, that, and notice as we go back off, how it gets darker there right in front of that piece of timber. That's a little bit softer bottom, probably a mud bottom, and they, they, they rode the ridges. Now, what we're going to do is take a look at this from two or three different angles. And the last angle, you need to stay put for this. I know guys can't make it past three minutes in videos, but hang on to the end. You really get a beautiful shot of some of the rocks and just coming out on the bank is so awesome. Um, but I, I turned around here and I went back and did it again and I wanted you to see it because seeing it from two or three angles, that is, you know, that's my thing. I, I, I believe in seeing things from two, three, four angles that way you can really get it. But you notice how every, we're starting to get shallower again and here it comes again on the left. Notice all those little rocks and everything coming. It's kind of coming at an angle here and I'm going to point it out with an arrow. You can see it kind of coming across the screen and right in the middle of the screen, you can see two big rocks. Uh, they would, I guess they would take these rocks and bring them in with them and, you know, sure up spots that were getting low or had soft spots and like that. And it helped their wagons go across them. But we're going to take one more look at it from a different angle. And I, I believe this angle is probably the best angle. Um, it, it just looks amazing. Uh, you can see the, you can just see the, uh, the, the structure of it so well. Uh, it's coming in here on the right side of the screen. Notice, like, <laughs> you can just, it looks like a little gravel road right there so beautiful it comes right across uh it's perfect and i just think this is so cool to know that some of these lakes before they put flow control structures in they were navigable waterways and then they used them to drive their uh wagons around but guys thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and you know you better ring that bell